Have you ever heard of Tim Berners-Lee? Indeed you have. He did after all invent the internet. Tim is also known for inventing the internet 3.0 aka web 3.0, the semantic web aka the spatial web. Hello everyone, this is your host Adishtha and today we will be exploring the world of web 3. What, what exactly is web 3? Any useful web 3 definition begins with defining webs 1 and 2. Web 1 was early days of the internet when online activity was decentralized and open but largely the reels of individuals with advanced technical knowledge. Following that, Web2 is its present stage in which content generation and navigation are simpler. But companies such as Google have consolidated control. Many considered Web3 to be the next step, decentralization via blockchain technology. Users will be able to design and run their own platforms and apps, eliminating the need for corporate gatekeepers and middlemen. In terms of data, Web3 enterprises are primarily concerned with the following requirements data and trend analysis and optimization, what machine learning and artificial intelligence are used for, the provision of data driven solutions that result in data informed judgments, as well as model development to convert data insights into product suggestions. It's reasonable to argue that innovations in Web3 have a significant impact on the data service business. The challenge is how Web3 and data science will interact to build the next generation of digital community, commerce and connectedness. When discussing the future of Web3 and data science, four aspects must be considered. Data scientists and other data professionals will have new employment options thanks to Web3. This is because firms preparing to implement Web3 will have a strong demand for employees with extensive expertise analyzing and interpreting data as well as developing goods and services based on the data available while incorporating AI and ML into the equation. Web3 will benefit both users and data scientists financially. Companies will be able to buy data directly from users and then utilize data scientists to integrate and blend these new data sets with old data sets to enhance learning models and then sell the new insights on the open market. On Web3, data scientists may employ AI to better understand individual consumer wants because Web3 is individual or user focused. Data firms may create language models that provide semantic understanding and then provide solutions that are tailored to the user because data is linked to human engagement. Furthermore, data firms may extract insights from the raw data and then turn those insights into enhanced product suggestions that can deliver a better customer experience based on consumer expectations. Data scientists will play a far greater role in the global economy in the Web3 future. They will be the neurons who will aid in the development of content or AI models that can organize and link with other AI models to assist in the resolution of more complicated challenges or possible dangers to organizations or enterprises. Lastly, we can say that Web3 is poised to change the way the world utilizes the internet while simultaneously underlining the necessity of data scientists and experts in society. If all of this chatter about Web3 has left you perplexed, don't worry. You can subscribe to the LearnBay channel and get yourself updated with all the data scientist related content.